<laughs> Today I'm going to show you how to work with a gooey duck. Uh, when I first moved to Washington State, I thought it was a geoduck, which is probably how a lot of people pronounce it. It's actually gooey duck, and it's probably the most phallic seafood you've ever seen in your whole life. I'm going to try to keep it together and not be predictable and laugh the whole time through. Is he moving now? But uh, this is a gooey duck, and you can see why I said it was kind of phallic. The way that these are grown is they're grown deep deep in the um, sand. And the reason there's a rubber band on here right now is because it's so used to having the pressure of the sand that without that rubber band, it might die. And it kind of keeps it all together. So I'm gonna show you basically how to deal with a gooey duck today. There's a bunch of different steps. It's really the king of all clams. It's one of the best things, um, ever, one of my favorite seafood, uh, types of seafood. And if you're lucky enough to live in Washington State or British Columbia, we're pretty familiar with gooey duck, so I'm going to show you all about it. Okay, so I'm going to take off this rubber band that came with the gooey duck. And you can see it's a little bit dirty, so I'm going to take it and I'm going to drop it into some water here with some salt. Salt water, because it's a salt water creature. And I'm just going to give it a little cleaning. Before um, um, I put it into some boiling water, And the boiling water is going to take this uh, outer bit off and it's going to help release the shell. I'm just going to submerge it for about 15 minutes. 15 minutes, 15 seconds. 15 minutes would be way too long. About 15 seconds. And then I have some ice water right next to it to shock it in there. So now we're back over here and it's been in the ice water and you can see that this uh, is going to come right off the gooey duck. Once you peel this off you can see that uh, how long it actually is when it's feeding and it eats plankton deep down in the uh, ocean. There's actually more of it. It's kind of got, it's probably twice this long actually. And these guys grow to be like a hundred and 40 some odd years, it's pretty incredible. I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna gently go along the inside of this shell on both sides. It's gonna release. Pull the whole thing out. Okay, so here's the gooey duck out of the shell, and this is the stomach. Some people will clean this and eat this. I actually get rid of it. Just pull it kind of out. This is the very um, tender, very tender belly portion, which is usually used for fritters uh, to just pan fry it. It's pretty strong, but very, very tender. This is the siphon, which you can use in chowders. Today I'm going to make a really quick carpaccio with it, um, or sashimi. It's absolutely delicious. But I want to show you this fun technique that I learned. Where you take salt, and you can rub salt, sea salt, on this end here, and you can kind of take off some of this darkening to make for a lighter, a lighter sashimi. So you just copiously rub the salt on here. You see how it's kind of lightening in color a little bit? Okay, and then I'm gonna take it back over to this water over here and give it a rinse. And if you want, you can, you can keep working on this and really get it to be pure white again if you wanted to. So now at this point, you're gonna cut open the siphon so that you can clean it. And I start up here at one end. I'll do it this way so you can see. We're going to cut all the way through. Okay. And you see the black stuff that's in there. We want to give that a little bit of a cleaning. Okay. So right now you have a fully cleaned gooey duck. As I said, this is the wonderful tender belly meat that you would go ahead and you would slice this for fritters. Can you see how tender that is? How easy it is to cut? And you can make lovely clam fritters with that. This is the wonderful meat for, for chowders, um, but I love it for sashimi. It's, it's, it's all about like how crisp it is. It's really just wonderful. You wanna cut 
very thin pieces. And they're gonna to start to curl, which is a sign of how fresh it is. So you can see how small and thin I'm cutting these pieces here. And you see them start to curl up a little bit. And I'm gonna lay them here on this plate. We're gonna have some gooey duck carpaccio. The best thing to do for this is just not to do too much to it because it's already just wonderful. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a Meyer lemon, a little bit of soy sauce, not too much because it's got enough saltiness to it, and some good olive oil. And this is ready to eat, delicious. Yum.